<laughs> so we've done well so far with one color of filament, but I came across this and I'm not sure what sorcery created it, but there seems to be two colors. The, there are two colors so and it wasn't happen? sorcery. It wasn't? Okay. No, no. That's then explain. That is simply a dual nozzle print. Okay, so there's two different kinds of filament. Uh, two kinds, two colors, yep. And then two doing. nozzles. And yep, our printer comes with two nozzles as standard. Uh, we have multiple different extruder combinations you can have. So in order to get to this point, mm -hmm. we're going to need to calibrate those two nozzles and make sure that their offsets are programmed correctly into the controller. How do we do that? Um, so we provide you with a calibration print. Uh, looks like this. Okay. Uh, pretty straightforward. All right, it's a little smaller than this. But yep, a yep, little smaller, but you don't really need to print huge to get your offsets correct. Okay. So what you're going to want to do, you're going you're to run this print. There are pre-programmed offsets in the controller, but once an extruder is mounted, they may not be perfectly correct. So with the two nozzles on there, yep. when you set it up, how can they become, un like, what's the unalignment that can happen? So there's a tolerance stack up with the extruders actually mounted on the machine. Okay. Um, and within that tolerance stack up is where the tips of your nozzles may not be perfectly aligned. So you're gonna run this print, it's called dual nozzle calibration. Once it's printed, you take a measurement of the X and Y offset. Okay. And we also have a calculator available on our website. Oh. That will give you the offsets that you program back into the controller. Is there any other tests that you'd wanna run, can run? Yeah, after you run this, we have a, a thin wall box that actually uses both nozzles. Okay. And that's really, really accurate for telling whether or not your offset is correct. Since it's only a thin wall, if your nozzle is off by a little bit, it'll droop it's down, it won't that. actually stack, right? And should you ever, like, is it smart to do the test with two colors so that you can see? Yeah, two colors is typically what I recommend. Um, you are taking a measurement at the end, so it's not as important, but you can see it while it's printing. But visually, visually yeah, it, it makes helps. Sense. Right. Well, thanks. That explains a lot. Yeah. For more information or if you have questions, send us a message or click on the provided links. And we will see you next time for our next tip.